So today, we're going to be having a deep dive into the Space Flight Simulator 2 announcement with stuff that you may have missed, like runways, new parts, and custom colours as well. But first, if you want to be notified when the trailer and game releases, do subscribe, it is greatly appreciated. Starting off with some parts, here we have two brand new capsules, which are slightly larger than the current default capsule. They include a plain textured one and also a very nice looking shiny one. And here, this video shows just exactly how shiny this new part is, which is just incredible to see how even the windows have got their own separate reflections. Now, onto engines, as you can see in this exact screenshot, we can see two brand new engines, which I presume to be vacuum engines, with a slightly larger one being the dark textured one and a smaller one with a shiny texture, as well as this double engine here. Looking again at the top of this screenshot we can see habitation modules where astronauts are going to be able to live up in space and we're going to cover tons of astronaut related stuff in this video including video clips of them and so much more that you may have not seen looking at the corner of this screenshot we have a cupola as well which is going to be able to open and close allowing astronauts to have a nice little view of the earth now we're at the launch complex and we can obviously see the vab which is extremely detailed and yes you can see in the bottom right hand corner the back of the launch control center which is crazy to see this amount of detail also looking here we have two launch pads presumably a and b which hopefully indicates you can pick which launch pad you would like to launch from set in a lovely location right next to a body of water perfect for splashdowns Heading into space, this image showcases some SRBs which have been detached from the rocket. Now, SRBs were originally planned to be added in SFS1, but with the upcoming engine update, this would make a perfect time to add them, but this is just speculation. Now, we have a rocket here with some makeshift boosters which has just been detached from the rocket, and there's a few things to note in this image. First of all, we have engine glow on these engines meaning they glow when they're in use and also a short period of time after they've been turned off. It's so exciting to actually have this feature in SFS2 because engine glow was something that was removed quite a while ago from the first game, but now it's being added back in the sequel. But also at the top, we have our brand new shiny capsule and we can see the clouds and a lovely looking atmosphere. Heading on to astronauts. So here we can basically see a lovely looking astronaut with a jetpack doing a little spacewalk outside a space station full of habitation modules, a little cupola in the top left, as well as one of our brand new capsules. Here, having a look, we have a front view shot of astronauts, which gives us a nice little closer look into what we can probably expect they're gonna look like. Next up is an astronaut which has landed on the moon and is heading out for a little moon. Moonwalk. I really do like the look of the landing legs in 3D. Now we're up in Mars with an astronaut which is seated inside a capsule docked to a habitation module. It's really interesting to see the inside of these parts and the textures on them. Maybe you might be able to navigate through them since here we can see a POV mode of astronauts in front of a nice looking space station. Next up we have the Mars atmosphere. Now this one is probably one of my favourite features out of this whole game so far and it's the day night cycle which we can see Mars change into night and also when you're on Mars you are going to be able to witness an amazing blue sunset which in this picture it just looks incredible. Staying on Mars this is actually the first official video we have ever seen posted by the developers of astronauts and they're on Mars going through the day night cycle. As far as I know this is a slightly older clip and the atmosphere is a tiny bit glitchy and we don't have a blue sunset yet but that's all because this is an old video and it will all be fixed when the game is released. Also to note this is the very first time we have seen the user interface for SFS2 looking very similar to what we have in Space Flight Simulator 1. Astronauts will also be able to plant flags which is something we previously saw in SFS1 sneak peeks. Next up, we have something that you probably won't believe is going to be a feature, and that's custom colors. You'll finally be able to go into the game and color your rockets however you want without having to get mods. So obviously pick the pattern first, and then pick any color you jolly well wish, and there you go. I still can't believe this is gonna be added to the game. It's incredible. Now we have some general pictures of larger fuel tanks, which is nothing that groundbreaking, but it really does convey the true size of how big these parts are. Here we have a picture of re-entry, with one of our new capsules entering back into Earth's atmosphere. I've always thought of re-entry to be one of the coolest effects in SFS1, 
so hopefully SFS2 will be no exception. Now, this one you probably haven't noticed as well. We have parachutes, which yes, we've always had them, but if you look up at the very top, we have Drogue parachutes, which is something we've never had in Spaceflight Simulator before. So this is definitely a brand new addition, which we're gonna be seeing in Spaceflight Simulator 2. Heading back to Earth, we can see the sun setting over the launch complex, which looks so clean, as well as what I believe to be some parking spaces, because who doesn't want parking spaces? And here we can see the sun setting even further, with it nearly completely dark, other than just a little glow of the atmosphere. Looking at rover parts, we have three main parts which make up this rover. First are the rover wheels, which I presume will come in two different sizes. As well as that, we have seats for astronauts, which we can see in these screenshots here. And finally, the rover base, which is the mainframe for the rover. And that's this cool looking part here for anyone wondering. Now, back to daytime, we have yet another view of the launch pad, but with something I don't think a lot of people have noticed. So if you look into the background behind the VAB, we can see a runway, meaning shuttles could finally be coming and planes. Although Steph did say that they probably won't be ready for the initial launch, but there are definitely plans to have them in the game. Now, last but not least, the big question, release date. It has been stated while development continues at the expected rate, we could be seeing this new game drop in about six months. However, this depends on tons of factors and it is only really just an estimate. But if you want to see an analysis of the SFS2 trailer, then watch this one here.